In Libya this morning, Muammar Gaddafi's forces are shelling rebel-held towns, but NATO air power can't do much to stop it. CBS News correspondent Alan Pizzi is in Benghazi this morning. Alan, good morning. Good morning, Jeff. Well, the U.N. resolution authorizing the use of force to protect civilians in Libya enters its second month today. But so far, the, the event has not been entirely successful, especially in the city of Misrata. Aid agencies are warning that the besieged port is on the brink of a full-blown humanitarian crisis as food and medical supplies reach critical levels. The rebels are holding out against heavy bombardment by Gaddafi loyalists, and there is also clear evidence that banned cluster bomb munitions have been used against them. Parts of the city are battered beyond recognition, and the only way aid can come in or serious casualties can be evacuated is by sea. The rebel advance from the east was once again pushed back to the town of Ashdabia over the weekend. Under the cover of a sandstorm that kept NATO planes from bombing, Gaddafi forces advanced into the edges of the town. Rebels have been getting better, however, and managed to hold out and even regain some of the territory they lost. But they still want help. And where is NATO? We are waiting for NATO, for the war. Casualties streamed into hospitals in Benghazi, and doctors there are concerned about coping if the fighting gets worse. The rebels also want and need political recognition if they are to be exempted from the UN embargo on Libya, and there are signs that it is coming. The rebel Transitional National Council is getting more organized, and sentiment for recognizing them as a viable alternative to the Qaddafi regime is growing, at least in some European capitals. Jeff? Ellen Pizzi in Benghazi. Ellen, thank you.